Herzlich willkommen bei CEMEX, in der Welt von CEMEX, hier in Rüdersdorf im Zementwerk. Mein Name ist Henning Weber, ich bin quasi Ihr oberster Gastgeber, denn ich bin der Geschäftsführer der CEMEX Zement GmbH, hier an diesem Standort ansässig. Ich heiße Sie herzlich willkommen und freue mich ganz besonders über Ihr Interesse an dem, was hier in diesem großen Zementwerk, in einem der größten Zementwerke von Deutschland, denn so alles passiert. Und bevor meine Kollegen Sie mit auf eine Reise, auf einen Spaziergang in unser Werk nehmen, gibt es noch einiges, was wir Ihnen im Vorfeld näher bringen wollen. CEMEX ist mehr als nur dieses Zementwerk und ich glaube, es ist auch für Sie von Interesse, was passiert denn mit unserem Zement, wo geht er hin, wo wird er gebraucht, aber auch der Aspekt, Mensch, wo kommen denn die Rohstoffe eigentlich her, all das wollen wir in den nächsten Minuten Ihnen näher bringen. Hallo zusammen und herzlich willkommen im Zementwerk Rüdersdorf. Wir schauen uns heute gemeinsam an, wie Kalkstein gewonnen wird und wie daraus Zement gemacht wird. Kommen Sie doch einfach mit! Zement is mainly used as indispensable binder for the production of concrete. And modern architecture made from concrete shapes every cityscape in Berlin and elsewhere. Simex Cement GmbH in Rüdesdorf is one of the largest cement producers in Germany and its parent company, Simex, is even one of the world's largest cement manufacturers. Hätten Sie das gewusst, sogar das Brandenburger Tor steht auf einem Fundament aus Rüdersdorfer Kalksteinen. No wonder, because limestone has been mined in Rüdesdorf for over 750 years. First records of the limestone quarry exist from as early as 1254. The Rüdersdorf shell limestone with deposits of up to 140 meters thickness dates back to about 240 million years ago. At the time of its formation in the so-called Mesozoic era, dinosaurs still roamed the earth. You can learn more about the history of the limestone mine and cement production in the nearby museum park Rüdersdorf. In the course of time, the limestone was not only used in its raw state as a building material, people also started burning it and using it to produce cement. Painstaking extraction using simple tools has long been replaced by modern mining techniques. Today, the open cast mining in Rüdersdorf has almost reached its final extension. It is almost 4 kilometers long and 1 kilometer wide. This is equivalent to 350 hectares or the size of 500 football pitches. Besonders aufregend sind die Sprengungen. Schauen Sie mal her. That's right. The extraction of limestone is done by drilling and blasting. Blasting operations have been carried out in our open pit for over 200 years. During this time, blasting technology has evolved constantly, so that noise and vibrations can be reduced to a minimum. To avoid shocks and hazards, blasting is not carried out in mining areas that are in close proximity to our neighbors. Here we use a hydraulic shovel excavator, which is equipped with a special noise protection package. The extracted limestone is then loaded with wheel loaders to dump trucks and brought to the central processing plant. A new landscape emerges not only after the extraction process has been completed, but already during the mining period itself. The upper slopes are planted as soon as possible, often with rare trees and shrubs. The slopes provide a new habitat for endangered bird species. Fifteen different species of bats spent their winter in the open pit of Rüdersdorf, including mouse-eared bats, long-eared bats, whiskered bats, or the greater horseshoe bats. Wollen Sie wissen, wie es mit dem Kalkstein weitergeht? Für die Herstellung von Zement muss der Kalkstein erstmal gründlich klein gemahlen werden. Ungefähr wie beim Kaffeemahlen stelle ich mir das vor. Well, almost. The dimensions are of course very different and the grinding process is also technically demanding. 
The still differently sized fragments of limestone are processed in the stationary crushing plant to a maximum size of 110 mm and sorted by size. The broken limestone reaches the blending bed over a more than 2 km long conveyor. The circular blending bed has a diameter of 112 meters and a storage capacity of 70,000 tons. From here it goes into the grinder, where the so-called raw meal emerges from the broken pieces, which is burned to clinkers in two steps. In the first step it is heated in the upstream suspended gas heat exchanger to about 900 degrees Celsius. Then the limestone enters the 61 meter long rotary kiln. It is burned at up to 1450 degrees Celsius along with other raw materials into so-called cement clinker. Klinker sind fast wie Murmeln, aber Zement ist doch ein Pulver. Wie macht man das? For this a second grinding process is necessary. The finer the clinker is ground, the better the quality of the cement, because a higher concrete strength can later be achieved with the cement. To conserve this raw material, for several years we have produced cement that contains less clinker. The cement is replaced with other secondary raw materials, such as slag for example. Eleven different types of cement are produced at Cemex Cement GmbH. Everything is controlled and monitored from a central control station. Finally, 5,500 tons of clinker are produced in Rüdersdorf every day, seven days a week. We are producing around the clock in several shifts. A lot of energy is required for the production of cement. The energy requirements alone are equivalent to approximately 55,000 four-person households, comparable to the needs of a medium-sized city like Halle. For years we have been working to reduce energy consumption. Not only for reasons of cost, but also because it is important for us to deal with our natural resources sparingly and keep CO2 emissions as low as possible. At 20% below the average, the energy consumption of the Rüdersdorf plant is now among the lowest of the Cemex group. The kiln has been optimized to such a degree that energy requirements can hardly be reduced any further. We therefore use secondary fuels to further reduce the consumption of primary fuels such as coal and oil. Today, 75% of our thermal energy is obtained from secondary fuels, mainly fluff, a material produced from recycled industrial and household waste. Meat and bone meal is also used as a fuel. Meat and bone meal are special treated remains from rendering plants. Dried sludge is also used as a fuel. The resulting ash can be reused immediately for clinker production. Das bedeutet, die Teile, die von meinem Becher nicht recycelt werden können, landen dann im Zementwerk und werden verbrannt. Plants, which use secondary fuels, are subject to more stringent emission limit values than those which don't. The Federal Emissions Protection Law sets these limits and we adhere to them at all times. The Quality Management Division ensures highest quality during the limestone manufacturing process, from clinker production to cement shipment taken from the dispatch silos and terminals. For this we have established an environmental laboratory and a largely automated process laboratory that works around the clock. The extensive data and analysis results are incorporated into the process control. We continuously improve our measures for the protection of the environment. In 2016, CEMEX invested 5 million euros in this area and exchanged the electrostatic precipitator against a cutting-edge bag filter in the kiln. Our dust emissions are now far below the legal limit. Und wenn der Zement endlich fertig ist, wohin kommt er dann? For the most part, the cement is sent as bulk goods, half in freight cars and half in silo trucks. A smaller part is sent as bagged goods, in 25 kilo sacks stacked on pallets, 5 million bags per year. Overall, some 2 million tons of cement leave the plant each year. 
When shipping to Scandinavia, the cement is loaded in the Baltic Sea port of Rostock from the freight car onto ships. However, we also operate our own port on the Kniensee in Rüdersdorf, where various raw materials such as slag and bauxite are transported to the Rüdersdorf cement plant in an environmentally friendly way. The company's logistics subsidiary Cemex Logistik GmbH coordinates these logistical challenges. The mineral deposits in Rüdersdorf will still last for several decades. What will happen after that? We have also given that some thought, together with the licensing authorities. When the limestone quarry is eventually depleted, all decommissioning activities and the renaturation have been completed, the drainage system will be switched off. The groundwater will then rise again to its natural level and a lake will emerge with approximately 195 acres in its final stage. <laughs>